Are you a plumber? Are you looking to increase your profits and your service offerings? We have customers that have added millions of dollars in revenue by adding CIPP to their arsenal. What is CIPP, you ask? CIPP stands for Cured in Place Pipeline. We know that it's a very broad topic, so we're here to simplify things. This video is going to be broken up into three sections. First portion, we're going to cover pipe prep. Second will be patching. And third will be inversion. Pipe preparation is the most crucial step to any trenchless repair. Typically, we're repairing pipes that are up to 50 years old. Oftentimes, pipes will have tuberculation, scale, root intrusion, fog. Fog stands for fast oils and grease. Two most common ways to prep pipe to be lined are by using hydro jetters and descaling machines. In most cases, these machines are used in conjunction with one another. For example, you can descale a line to remove all of the buildup and tuberculation, and a hydro jetter would be used to pull out all of the loose scale from the pipe. We stock a specialty design tool that hydro jets and descales simultaneously and has been tested by our friends at US Jetting in their California facility. Patching is a cost-effective way to get into trenchless pipe repair. Rather than repairing the entire segment of pipe, you're only replacing a small section of the pipe, typically two to four feet. We offer an in-house structure patch solution where point repairs can be installed through a cleanout to avoid any excavations. Our simplified structure patch kit includes everything you would need to get started. This is a great way to get acclimated to working with resins. Inversion is a method of CIPP lining. Inversion is done by saturating a felt or fiberglass liner with resin and loaded into an inversion drum, which delivers the material to your desired location. Drum sizes and liner sizes will vary depending on your job. There are different methods of curing the liner after it's been delivered into the host pipe. The first method would be an ambient curing. Curing with this method is activated using ambient air temperatures. Depending on which hardener you use, your curing time will vary. The second method is heat assist which can be achieved by using steam or hot water. This method can be preferred by contractors over ambient curing, and in some cases, because it allows installers to have a longer amount of working time and faster curing times over ambient curing. The third, and our personal favorite type of curing, is UV. The reason UV is our favorite is due to the fact that you have unlimited working time and you will not cure until UV light is introduced to the resin and liner. Rather than curing by temperature, you're able to cure multiple feet per minute as the line is being introduced to it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what content you want to see next. All of the topics covered in this video will be expanded on in depth in future videos. We serve our customers nationwide and have an extensive dealer network to ensure our customers are taken care of. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.